we go rocking and rolling blitz world series action pro division coming at you here with zed fighting out of algeria in red on the left and already out of the uk in yellow on the right so both these guys obviously in the pro division uh hanging in here with the top 12 players in the world uh already has been already hasn't been playing much the last uh, i don't know week or two and we were seeing that a little bit he's coming off of a pretty uh, pretty tough loss to the old mystic marsh there uh but we'll see if he can get a little warmed up see if he can bend not break zed's been looking tough this month zed on a few wins already so we'll see these guys know each other uh it's a grudge match but seems to be a friendly one as far as as far as i can tell hard to say for sure lloyd how are you feeling you think uh, Artie can can pull something out here yeah, it can, and it's incredible how the use of the conscripts on Blitz is so, so important. And you see here, Ardy with some excellent conscript control here, pushing them conscripts out in front, Rhinos behind them, really nice early pressure. He's forced on the sentries that are coming out. His conscripts are still out in front as well. Another sentry comes out as well. So Ardy is on the offense. We've seen this before then. We've seen him then not being able to execute and win a game. But, um, but yeah, these, these two guys um, are very evenly matched um, throughout Yuri's Revenge and Blitz as well. I, I enjoy both of these two guys playing. Another sentry comes out as well. So they've been forced to spend lots of money on the sentries. Um, and at the pro level, as we know, these players on the back end of that are always building their oils, keeping the things going on the backside going as well. Um, are they looking to come over to the power now on the bottom left as well? Uh, let's see how Zed responds. Yeah, I'm, this stresses me out. We've seen Artie get caught with his pants down a couple times going for this bottom tech. Uh, doesn't look like Zed's looking. Zed just gives up the power now, Zed. Okay, all right. And so Zed there, even if Zed isn't going to go for the MCV, Zed should be feigning that attack. Zed should be going down the middle, bouncing and threatening Artie to try to throw him out of that position, uh, giving up that power for free to Artie uh, with already losing four sentry guns. Um, I think Artie, Artie definitely ahead here, but Zed, the, Zed seems comfortable. I think Artie has kind of shown his hand in the Marsh match. This is already what we saw from Artie. So I, Zed should be expecting all of this so far. So we'll see if Zed has a plan for it. Uh, Zed, as it stands, actually more money than Artie as Artie goes on to a pretty early second War Factory here. Just a bit of lag coming in. Um, but now, uh, Artie, yeah, it's pretty even on tanks. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, that's a good point, Path, too. That's what's nice about Blitz. I mean, I really tried to make Blitz a, a welcoming environment for new players. Like, right now, if you just randomly hopped into Yuri's Revenge Quick Match after 15 years, there, you'd have no chance. I mean, there's 30 yeah, maps. I mean, everyone... Everyone in there is a stone cold killer. There's 30 maps to learn. Um, you know, it's hard to even figure out where to put your miners. So, you know, Blitz, I think, you know, Blitz is one of those games where it is simple, but at like at the same time, I think that does keep escalating. I mean, it's not just like playing tic tac toe, it's not random. I mean, the best players win, right? So there is obviously the skill ladder keeps climbing. And if that wasn't the case, the best players wouldn't be winning. But, um, oh, and the drones to counter those desos, very, very nice from Zed. Zed bounces over and grabs that power plant. So it's just settling into the game now. Really nice counter punch. Gets them drones in there. Takes care of the Desos. Gets the power as well. Having said that, Ardy is now on the lab. And this middle bit is really important. You've got to be so careful in the middle bit. You can't get caught in the bottom of the divs with the opponent on a higher level of ground. Drones are coming out. Drones looking effective here. Just need to be careful. He doesn't get caught here, Zed. He's now trying to run away. He's going to come back in. I'm not sure if that's the right decision. We'll see with the tank control. Yep, going to come down to tank control here. And it looks like Artie is able to hold this position. No drones left. And that gets on a little bit of radiation on the retreat. Nice use of the desolators. Um, oh, and, and Artie still is droned here. Okay, so yeah. um, so Zed does have to pull out here. I'd like to see Artie get a couple more sentry guns. Looks like Zed's going to be playing a lot of drones. Zed's been playing a lot of drones on this map. As Zed goes tech now, battle lab, nuclear reactor. Uh, Artie actually, oh, ahead on tech now. Kirov out for Artie. Yeah. That's off from the top right, Ivor. Just sorry to interrupt. The kill off from the top right hand side of that wall factory would have been really nice. Oh. On the tech workshop, maybe the the nuclear reactor and the oil. I like to see that come up there. It's got a long way to travel now. As you said, the drones are coming out. Both players with the uh, with the tech, and it is actually uh, Zed who actually got his IC out first, even though that uh, Ardy was was well ahead with the uh, with the battle lab initially. Drones are getting a great deal on there, losing a fair few drones for them uh, from them yep. conscripts. That wasn't very good value. The dreadnought is in the play. The oh, dreadnought the... has just got a free ride. Oh, he... the oh the dreadnought. He's switching targets too fast. He didn't get those oils first, but he did get the radar, and now the squid over. So Artie's squid just There's a little bit. Dread, didn't lose much. There's another though. dread behind it. He needs to, he needs to shoot the other dread. dread. Oh, oh, now the other another squid. Oh. Both dreads get squitted. That Kirov getting a bit of value. Oh, the Kirov goes AFK. So now these drones are a bit annoying i like already using these conscripts to counter drones a lot of people forget that conscripts are a good counter for drones um 
Yeah. Obviously, Zed should be pushing in a Desolator behind, combining his Desolators and drones. So the Dreadnoughts, good counter from Artie there, hanging in this one. This Iron Curtain could be what swings it here. Again, Zed with the Iron Curtain advantage. Now Desolator. Yeah, so doesn't he, he shouldn't IC drones. If he IC drones, then um, Artie will have enough time to uh, ice um, IC his own Rhinos and counter out them them drones. Let's see what he's doing. It doesn't look like he's going to push into an offensive position here though, Zed. And he should push into an offensive position and go down the field, really. And, and use the IC in here. That's it. That's it. You want to get as far forward as you can, then use the IC. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and Artie doesn't want to, shouldn't have probably let him behind, that far behind. Oh, the, oh, that's nice from Zed. Nice from Zed. Artie should caught out of position there. Shouldn't have allowed a free ride in the, into his base. Yep. Oh, and, that, and look at the delay on that Iron Curtain. Very, very nice. Yeah, Artie was relying on those Desolators too much. Um, that opening was too big. They were able to get through that des that radiation without taking too much damage. Lots of lots of Desolators now, but Zed comes out with way too many tanks. Artie not switching over to drones. Um, Zed with a billion That's drones. Right, Jesus. Yep. Zed way ahead. Yeah, yeah. So they're just going to come in and crush. There you go. Yeah, GG called. And Artie and Zed, I mean, these guys every month have played each other for the past six months, maybe longer. And uh, Artie always beats Zed. So I think Zed's, Zed knows that Artie that hasn't been playing. And I think Zed is definitely going to be jumping at this opportunity. He wants to make sure to close this one out because, uh, like I said, every month Zed loses to Artie. <laughs> like, per, we call it a rivalry, but realistically, I can't remember the last time Zed beat Artie in a show match. So definitely seeing um, seeing those getting those reps in, making the difference here. Artie just uh, just a kind of just across the board, uh, just a little bit slow right now. Indeed, and these two uh, these two are wonderful to watch as well. And all the sort of pro games always bring some some spectacular things. And even the ones that slightly when you have the Marcos and that that come in and they are so strong, but they always bring up great stuff. And uh, and the metaphor is always changing, and especially with the maps as well. I think. I think you've done a great job on the maps as well and keeping the point of view really really interesting the oil was coming in at the start has made it so exciting from the start i, I am going to leave you though uh it was just a quick little jump in and, and say hello to everyone and a little bit of commentary as always very much appreciated and i'll, uh, I'll continue to watch from my phone but for now i'm gonna have to jump off so uh all yeah, right much love and i'll catch you soon my man all right sounds good man we'll talk to you later Cheers, mate. Bye -bye. Yeah, um, oh yeah, yeah, the path. oh yeah, catch up in chat here, yeah, the Rambo, um, yeah, so Rambo, they might be adding some Blitz games to Rambo, which could be pretty exciting, uh, obviously the Chinese player base represents more than the rest of the world combined, so, um, yeah, if the Chinese players started playing Blitz, that's really what could take, uh, take RA to the moon around here, but, um, yeah, it could be pretty exciting. I think Blitz, I think Blitz does appeal, I think there's something to be said even at the top level for it just to be kind of a casual, fast thing to be able to do. Uh, at the lower level, obviously, I think it's it's fun for players to learn faster. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see, we'll see if, if the, the Chinese get a taste for Blitz, who knows, who knows what we could do. So nice, I uh, love this build from both players here, doing everything they can to try to get defensive structures into that center, middle, hot zone there. Um, obviously, I made this map so that you couldn't do that, you can't build off the pre-captured tech, but these guys uh, find, find a way to build through. You cannot build over, as far as I know. Of course, last month it took till the championship for Kian to expose that you could, uh, but that's the way it goes with map making on 20-year-old games. All right, and I love this aggression here from Artie. He is going broke, so he's going to want to try to get some value here. Doesn't want to let, uh, you know, as he slowly might start. Oh, the Eagles could finish off that oil would be nice. Oh, going to come in and grab that oil. Oh, oh, grabs the Battle Lab. Rockies go down. Love this aggression from Artie. I think he probably could have a little hit and run on that oil. Might have been nice. Remember, you do have the machine shop, so it is a bit different. The fact that you can bounce out. If you are smoking and he's not smoking, bounce out. Try to delay the next attack, and it will uh, obviously benefit you. All right, so GGI, the GI is very interesting. I love this from Artie. I mean, this is the game we all wish, you know, we all secretly wish Red Alert 2 was, or at least at the lower level, you find yourself thinking, like, it'd be fun if there was different units that did different things. And at the top level, you know, you realize that it's, it's mostly the, the same few units. But um, Allied, is particularly in Blitz, I guess, they do have a few different things in their portfolio that can be used, even at the top level. And traditionally, you know, yet, you, know you have Mirages, prisms you have several viable units but it is fun to see Artie uh, making use of these other units here um, the speed boost could be nice here for Artie's army a lot of these units are already very fast uh, give you that extra uh, leg up and using the repair engineer IFB from Artie I love that uh, repairing all of his tanks as well makes a huge difference in between battles to not go in at half health prism tanks now from Zed uh, where's Artie going with these eagles very forward Patriot missiles funny you look at how how close that Patriot missile is oh Artie was oh in a double battle lab now from Zed Zed wants to secure this game with his prism tanks 
Oh, and he dives, he dives, he dives, and he does get it, takes down the gap generator as well, pays a few Rockies, pays one Eagle for it. Uh, decent value there. I still get a little too excited about the chain reactions from oils. I'm still used to those old ones that took down entire bases. Rockies, and oh, and I like this from Zed, using that elite IFV, using the, the uh, Rockies to harass that top, top machine shot, very nice. Paradrop now back right for Zed. So Zed, Zed uh, throwing a lot of different looks at him. Already doing a good job defending, but already definitely a bit on his heels here. Eh, actually, that might not be the case. I think Artie's... So what do you guys think? This one's looking about even to me, actually. Yeah, this one's looking pretty good right now. We'll come down to... Uh, yeah, oh, Artie's army's looking better. Old oils never forget. Never forget the nuclear oils. I actually got the new map to show you guys. Ridge for next month. The next month's tournament map. It's still pretty it's still pretty raw, but um, I'll show you guys. I can show you guys a preview after this before the next match. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. It's uh tearing a lot out of uh, what we've learned from Mummy. I think Mummy and Surge have been two of our better playing maps. And uh, we're kind of taking a lot from that, but adding in some new stuff as well. So he's gonna throw the Rockies in front here. It's gonna come down to using the Rockies to take the Prism tanks. Yep. Yep, and so there you go. Artie goes in to take the Prism Tanks out, and Artie should be way ahead here. Needs to be careful of these Rockies. Now Zed delays those Rockies. Artie needs to pull his Rockies back to defend. Oh, doesn't matter. Zed doesn't have an army left. Artie puts that one on the board, allied versus allied. And Artie finally getting woken up here. Puts one on the board, 1-1. One, one. It's possible, boys. It's possible. Could be getting a Barn Burner here. Barn Burner in the making. So now Zed gets to choose... Um, and again, guys, after this match, we do have some more pro action coming on. Quas versus Luke. Uh, should be a banger here. Um, Quas versus Luke is going to be coming up after this. What time are those guys set for? 2 p.m.? Yeah. Right on schedule. Right on schedule. All right. <laughs> Allie, that's awesome. Someone's like, is that CNC? <laughs> You're like, yeah, but it's this new thing. It's called Blitz. I do the same thing. Dude, you know what's actually amazing about Red Alert 2? And that's what I think is fun about this kind of project, ultimately, the uh, Operation Resurrect Red Alert 2 project that we're all kind of a part of. Um, whether you're playing Blitz or traditional, uh, whenever I tell, like, I, people, if people my age at least, when I ask people, everyone knows Command and Conquer. And most people know Red Alert 2. Like, you know, people in their late 20s, early 30s, everyone knows these games. So it's kind of fun. Like, I'm like, yeah, you know that game? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, well, I shrunk it down. I took out the ore. We got oils. There's only two factions. We run tournaments. <laughs> Just hyping up Blitz everywhere I go. And things have only gotten better now that I can say RedAlert2.com. Remember when I used to have to say RE2 cash games? That was lame. We got RedAlert2.com. If anyone ever, is, you got ever people wondering, where can they watch Red Alert 2 content? How can they join the Discord? How can they find tournaments? How can they connect with the community? How can they download the game? Any questions about Red Alert 2, whether it's Blitz or regular, I got all the links in there uh, at redalert2.com. Really, really easy. So yeah, just if you guys all tattoo that on your forehead, tell everyone you know, we will slowly uh, take over the world. That's the idea. All right, so the action here, we're going to see a little more standard or the older meta on this map as we see the kind of focus here on the bottom. Both players start on the top, but now shifting towards the bottom. Artie really wants to get that power plant. Allied versus Sov now. Allied versus Sov on this map, very, very hard at the top level. The Rhinos have just proven to be so relentless as they have proven to be over the course of the last 20 years. But Artie doing a great job hanging in here with his tanks. Look at this build from Artie out with Rockies and Eagles, but Artie starts to go broke. Artie is going to go broke. He misses the shot. The Eagles on the Rhinos. He really needed that. That could have gotten nice value. Does get the power plant, though. Now, he's behind his GIs. He's just going to pull out of this position. Uh, maybe keep the GIs to defend his power. Yeah, and Zed, you see Zed. Zed's looking for a target. Zed's trying to go hunting here. Flak track out. Artie's going to try to snipe, and he does. And Zed with the MCV unpack. That is not by design. That is an accident. The flak track's now coming for Zed. Now, that unpack from, uh, from Zed, that's going to put him behind. Having to switch over to flak tracks, that's going to put him behind on Rhinos. There is a window of opportunity here for Artie. Let's see if he can carry this momentum and continue to keep getting value. Zed had to build a couple power plants. This is not where Zed wants to be at the two-minute mark. He, he wants to have another war factory, and he does not have one. Flak cannon, though, and flak tracks, all three eagles going down for Artie. Uh, that's a tough price to pay, especially at this point in the game where his economy 
economy is. Now a sniper IFE, and I love Artie here in this series, really proven his ability to show how diverse the allied portfolio can be uh, in viable game situations, even at the top level here, uh, making full use of his IFEs, uh, the sniper now to clean out Zed's fodder. And without any fodder, Zed needs to be very careful here. Artie has a fodder advantage. He's hanging in there on, on Grizzlies. Love to see another War Factory from Artie now as he's on 5K. We should see one popping up any second here. Uh, Prism Tower, already a bit exposed on the top side. But Rocky's joining now. Very nice forward Prism Tower. So this is a very secure position. Ooh, and Artie goes Battle Lab. Artie goes Battle Lab on one War Factory. Ooh, and Zed a little late with his flag tracks. Does get a bit of chip damage in there. Those Rockies pulls him out. So, um... Wow, the Battle Lab on one War Factory. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? Zed says fuck. Well, apparently it's a good position. Um, so Zed now on four War Factories. He's going to have plenty of Rhino. Zed on 15k and four War Factories. And you see, that's what happens when, when you know, what Artie did there. Grabbing the power, uh, forcing a few of these things early on with Zed just got him behind. Now Zed's on 15k. Uh, not going to be able to spend it fast enough as the tech tanks are out now. Uh, we'll see if Artie gets another War Factory out. I, generally, I would think two War Factories before teching up here, but we'll see. Strife, you're absolutely right. Strife's, in the, Strife's been in the chat. Strife's going to be in the chat for another year reminding everyone about how OP the Chronosphere is. As soon as your player accidentally unpacks their MCV, uh, you got to chrono the MCV into the water. It's the only viable option. All right, now GI's pushing in on the bottom. Going to try to set off this play here. Mirages, Grizzlies, Sniper IFE, more GI's, more dogs. Uh, love this from Artie, uh, keeping the pressure on here. That's exactly what you have to do against a player like... Uh, like Ed, or sorry, Zed, especially with Zed Soviet, because you know he's going to start bringing Desolators. He has the option to spam drones. Yeah, if you, there's a window of opportunity, you want to uh, smash Zed's neck in it. Okay, okay. That's for it. Zap, you believe in Zed? You believe in Zed? I know, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, normally I'm cheering for Zed in this matchup, because like I said, already beats Zed every time. But, uh... I'm kind of cheering for Artie, I feel like, just because Artie's kind of the... Artie hasn't been playing lately. I thought Zed was actually going to clean Artie up. Uh, but that really shows you that it's not just about skill and experience. It's about how much you want to beat the other person. Artie does not want to lose to Zed. I can tell you guys that for sure. So Artie does allow Zed to get teched up here. Now the Kirov out. We're going to see the Iron Curtain behind it. Uh, and that's really Zed's only way back into this game. So, oh, does grab that oil, takes a barracks with it. He's going to pay a few... Ooh, and Zed a little late to support, a little late to support. Oh, no, Zed supports that cure off pretty nicely here. Asked, ooh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was a bit risky for Artie. He got his, uh, yeah, he got his anti-air a bit out of position there. Should be able to still take down that cure off. Zed microing those flat tracks very nicely here. So we are going to see a, uh, a Deso Bomb getting geared up here. Uh, so there will be a Deso Bomb coming from Zed, I'm sure. Yeah, a bit of lag here. The little weekend lag. We like the weekend lag. We like things to be slowed down a little bit on the weekends. All right. So tons of snipers. So that's the best way to counter uh, counter the deso bombs. Build a thousand snipers. Put them everywhere and kill the desolators uh, as as they come out of the flak track. Um, so the Eagles just slowly chipping things away, and that's why you're seeing Artie not pushing this position. Artie's just comfortable to win this one from the skies. Uh, I'd like to see another AFC from Artie. Oh, he's broke. Never mind. But so Artie's broke, which is a bit annoying, but just keep... Grabs that oil. Ooh. Overshoots the oil. No chain reaction. He should have been able to do the math there. That oil was too far from that war factory. That was not a good hit. Would have liked to have seen the battle lab or the nuclear reactor. Both viable targets, I think. Maybe he was just going for something safe. Uh, just because he um, he's kind of broke, so Artie can't really afford. Oh, Artie gets hit with lightning. That's about five mirages lost. That's unfortunate. Zed gonna go topside now. Artie needs to be a bit careful. Oh, Artie, Artie, that that lightning bolt. Uh, that's unfortunate to lose five mirages like this. And uh, Zed's Rhino numbers are getting to a scary level. Battle Lab goes down, does overshoot it, but just wanted to make sure he got it. So he does get the Battle Lab. And Artie's kind of gummed himself up a little bit. Uh, this is, makes it a bit tricky. The Prism Towers are going to get a lot of damage in here because there's no fodder in this group because of Artie's snipers. So Artie forces him into a bottleneck. Artie backdoors with Rockies on the backside. Zed's MCV is going to go down. Artie just has to be able to hold this position. It's going to be tough, though. Um, see if Artie can keep spamming some defensive structures. Oh, Artie, Artie needs to pull everything. Pull the GIs. Pull the Rockies back. 
Pull the Rockies back. Those are sniper IFEs. Those aren't going to do anything. Already now in a base trade with his Rockies alone. Zed trying to protect on the backside. He doesn't have any anti-air. Zed doesn't have any anti-air. Oh my god. Oh my god, these Rockies are going to win this game. Zed doesn't have any anti-air. Now targeting the radar, that's risky. He should target the War Factory before a track comes out. And Zed quits out. There was just too many buildings. It was a base trade, but already had too many buildings. All right, so now Allied versus Sov. Now Zed with Allied. And yeah, this, the Allied win for Artie against Zed Soviet. Uh, very, very impressive. And I love all the way Artie's been playing Allied on this map. You know, Artie, Artie's just uh, one of the OG Blitz players, right? He's been around since day one. And uh, I just, I think it's it's fun watching Artie's play Blitz because, you know, some players, I think at the higher level particularly, uh, Marco, for example, Marco plays really, really good Red Alert. He plays perfect Red Alert 2 Years Revenge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he plays that perfectly within Blitz. You know, a lot of his traditional tactics are just carrying over, and because he's, you know, the GOAT, it works. Whereas then you see some guys like Artie where, um, I think Artie really plays Blitz well. Like, Artie is doing things that are very Blitz-specific, and I think it's fun to kind of watch him, you know, think within each map, think within the Blitz mod itself, and uh, kind of try to develop these different metas, and that allied look there specifically, uh, obviously the opportunity where you can get the most weird. So, uh, Artie going to have to pull back now, and just going to build a bunker to hold that position from the GIs, but he's going to lose this power plant. So Artie at least needs to feint down the middle here at least faint down the middle, whether or not you can commit to it, but this is what you do to slow down the allied player here. Just don't let him commit, and that wall doesn't go down, so those GIs won't be able to get there. Now, Artie can't push into a pillbox right now, but uh, this is the idea. So now, um, and now bunkers to hold. Now that's fine, these GIs, I mean, they could still route around the outside, but the wall is still up here. So Artie just needs to stay in the center, I think, and just kind of keep fainting down the middle. Love to see Artie, these are pretty juicy right now from Zed. Um, but yeah, so that's what he's going to do. Keep pulling back the Grizzly. Now, this time the wall goes down, the power plant's going to go. Now, uh, Artie's going to have some power plants to build. He should have been expecting that, though. So let's see how quick he can get his power plant up. I would imagine it's it's already uh, on the way. Um, that's one option, you know, just to assume you're going to lose that power plant. And this leg is a pretty rough here, but now too far in the game to do anything about it other than hope and pray. So all you guys give good wishes here um, to the leg, to the leg gods to help us out. Uh, so now Zed out with Eagle, Zed dead broke, and Zed is going to route these GIs around the outside. Oh, and a nice spread on those GIs as well. Uh, Rhino's in to clean them up. Paradrop now on the top side, so Zed coming from multiple sides here. I like this use of the Paradrop on the top side. Ooh, and that oil's going to go down. The elite GI comes out. Now the Grizzly's coming from the top side, and Zed is out tanking here. This could be a tough spot for uh, for Artie. Yep, and using oh the Eagles snipe another Rhino out. Uh, very very good Allied look here. It's funny both these guys looking very very tough as Allied. Throws those conscripts into the Prism Tower. That's that's a good way to use the fodder if you are going to push into the Prism Tower. But if you're not. Um, obviously no need to do that. Already on 6k now, so already now with three War Factory, 6k. So Zed, um, I mean, Zed's gotten everything an allied player could want early game. He slowed down the Soviet player, he's thrown off his build, took his power. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously now at this, at this point the Rhinos are going to start pouring out. So Zed, yeah, Zed might just try to push here with the snipers to control the fodder. Uh, already forced to do this without any fodder. Then the lightning comes down that time, already doesn't get a hit, which is nice. Flak tracks out of position, so now Artie with no anti-air as he builds a flat cannon. Zed now over to Battle Lab Tech and on 7k to do it with. Uh, this is a scary position. Artie needs to be careful here. Zed could go down the gut. Um, I think Zed, I think Zed could just go down the middle there. He's just way out tanking, give up his tech, but Zed gonna come down to the bottom, try to defend it. Does lose that power plant, so Artie getting a bit of value there, but gonna be tough here. Gonna be tough here, I think, for Artie. Mirages. And Zed on 9k. Zed on 9k, two War Factories, Battle Lab, and Eagles juiced up and rolling. Tough position here. Uh, Artie's Rhinos are catching up, though, now on five War Factories, so his Rhinos numbers are going to be nice here. But as Zed settles into this mid game here, the Prism Towers are coming out. Zed again, Zed just the way Artie did to him, is going to be very comfortable sitting back here. The second AFC out, and now he's going to get eight Eagles in the sky. And you see Artie, he knows what's coming here. He's going to need to start uh, either teching up teching up, juicing up some Deso bombs, or maybe right now trying to find, eh, I don't think there's, I don't think he can push right now anywhere. So Artie now needs to move into uh, mid late game, Soviet moves here. Um, it's viable, even at the top level, he could go a thousand war factories and just pound through, but um, 
But against Zed, who you know is very, very comfortable camping and slowing this position down, you gotta think Artie, Artie's gonna need to tech up. So radar out, that's the first step. Machine shop goes down from the top side. That's a nice hit for Zed, particularly because it's free. Cost him nothing, nice hit. So Desolator's out now, so Artie's gonna have to juice up some Deso Bombs. Uh, Zed has a thousand snipers to counter the Deso Bombs. So Deso Bombs, and Artie is already bringing, Artie only on 2k, so yeah, Artie, this is actually probably a good move for Artie. I mean, it'd be better if he had an Iron Curtain, but I don't think he has the money for it. That oil's really juicy, yep, takes a power plant. Oh, it doesn't take the radar though. And now Zed's gonna faint down the middle here. Desolator's out of position, and Zed, uh, Oh, Mirage is to defend, Grizzlies to go down the middle. That was a very, very nice move. Um, very nice tactic there from, from Zed. Mirage is to hold this bottleneck while the Grizzlies kind of went down the middle and forced uh, Artie back. So Artie now, uh, Battle Lab out, Nuclear Reactor coming, does sell off his power plants. Artie just trying to be frugal here, just gonna have a hard time coming into the uh, Soviet tech here with, with only a thousand in the bank. Uh, there are ways for him to swing things. The Kirovs could help. Oh, and the Mirages, and Zed's Mirages aren't in the fight. Zed's Mirages aren't in the fight. And for whatever reason, Zed has forgot about his Mirages, probably because they look like trees. I forget about them, I don't blame him. Um, three Kirovs, Kirovs now pouring out. Now, how does Zed support these? Oh, and the Mirage, now the Mirages are coming and no Desolators because of the snipers. Um, so Artie gonna try to get a sniper up to the front lines here, but these snipers are very, very problematic. Oh, that Desolator might get down. Oh, no, it did not. All right, Kirov's coming now, and Artie goes topside with his Rhinos uh, into a lot of, oh, he's gapped up. So Zed is gapped up right here, so Artie went in blind. Prism Towers, GIs, and Artie's army to meet him. Artie's army going down here. Uh, Artie now out with Flak Boats. Did the Kirov's get much done here? Okay, Kirov's still going, Kirov's still going. Battle Lab would be nice. Ooh, Force Shields, the Battle Lab. It's gonna put Zed low power, though. Artie dead broke right now. Oh my god, he's blundering so hard right now. Yeah, Artie just dead broke. Artie just dead broke. Uh, it's a very, very tough position. Um, the snipers, the Mirage. Wait, where are the snipers? Where are the snipers right now? Why don't I see any snipers? Where did the snipers go? Did the Kirov kill the snipers? Has that ever happened before? Snipers, no, Deso is now with free range. Uh, oh, Battle Lab, or Pair Drop top left. That's gonna grab that Battle Lab. Very, very nice. Ooh, and an oil. Yep, and an oil. Okay, so... Zed's pretty severely out tanking here. But already has these Desolators with no snipers in this group. It's a bit problematic. I just don't... I'm not really sure. Oh, already has an AFK Dreadnought. There's too many IVs anyway. Um... There's a few ways for Artie to survive. I'm just not really sure how Artie wins this. Um, obviously, the Iron Curtain is going to be helpful. Oh, saves that nuclear reactor. Dude, anti-air boats, you guys, are so OP. They do so much work. Battle Lab's going to go down that elite IFV, also OP. Um, so now, yeah, now uh, Zed is going to slowly push in here. Prism Tanks, Mirages. Uh, forces Artie to kind of head downfield. Not going to be able to find anything down there. Oh, Iron Curtain? No, late on the Iron Curtain. Yeah, you guys got those bingo cards going? How you guys doing on the bingo cards? Everyone should be playing bingo. If you're on your phone, scroll down, you'll find the bingo cards. You guys can play bingo. Winner of the bingo card, you get three crowd game points. Most crowd game points at the end of the month, taking home $40 this month. $40 going out this month for the crowd game points. Load it up. This is it, guys. The final point. We got Zed versus Artie. The barn is officially burning. Um, so this has been a very interesting series here, and Allied finally looking tough on this map. I feel like Allied has just been getting wrecked all month long on this map, and now we're in the final point, already choosing to go Allied. Uh, Zed staying Soviet. We did switch tunnels here. We'll see if we get through the lag. Um, but yeah, the Allied, Artie's Allied's been looking tough. Zed looking tough. Artie's shaking off the dust a little bit. Artie got wrecked by Marsh this morning already. Artie took a couple weeks off, and it's really showing, but Artie does not want to lose to Zed. Snark, how you feeling? Yeah, I mean, Artie just lost to Zed, and Zed was allied. I guess he doesn't want to go through that beatdown again, so he does choose allied, uh, which is interesting. And he's coming in with the GI look here, a very early radar out of Zed here in, uh, in a defensive position. Is Artie going to be fast enough to get this power plant? We know how crucial that early power plant snipe is. Deso out, GI's retreating, but one flak track for free. 
I'm yep. sniping down those. Yeah, I need to put them down. Ooh, doesn't deploy that. De okay, could actually, could, probably could have used that. De so, so as to reroute, reroute the GIs now, that's quite a few GIs. That's quite an investment for Artie. Uh, he does want to get some value out of those GIs. He can kind of just ring around the rosy and kind of run away from those Desos for a while. But you want to get something out of them. That's, that's quite a bit of money early game. So, yeah, Sniper uh, IFE, Sniper IFE getting oh. down those Desolators. Oh, but one of them goes into a flag track, so they're defended. And now the GIs are moving into position to attack. They deploy it. One Rhino goes down and Mel's defenses are going down left, right, and center. Is it oh. enough, though? There's so much defenses oh. here. The Sniper IFE doing so much work. The Desolator's never going to get out. The Desolator, that Desolator could have deployed if Zed would have been a little bit faster. And already continuing to push in here. And this is what an interesting day with these guys. Both guys winning their allied matchups. Now already making allied look tough again. And when allied is clicking, it's hard to beat. Uh, Zed scrambling a little bit here, trying to spam those sentry guns. Zed in trouble, I think. Yeah, he needs to get those flag tracks out of there. There are Rocketeers on the field. He has to use them in a defensive position. No infantry allowed, only sentry guns, but there is only four GIs left, so he should be able to defend. And Zed is going to go downfield, but the Eagles are out, and they're going to start sniping Rhinos here. This could be very problematic. Du misses. Really nice. Wow, wow. Oh, does... the GIs moving in, but he moves into a sentry oh. gun. That's not good. Oh, so now he gives up his GIs. So now Artie has to be careful here. He's got Zed on the ropes. I don't love the full pullback here. I'd like to see him, see him at least keep the pressure on, keep Zed uncomfortable, even if he can't afford to push into these sentry guns. But the Eagle's just going to keep doing so much work here. Maybe grab the, oh, going to go after the power. Very nice. Artie getting value anywhere he can get it. And you see Zed, not a comfortable position for Zed. He's on the ropes right now. And, um, and, and Zed will go down the gut here and try to go for a base trade if Artie opens up that window for him. Yeah, but he is alive and he does manage to defend. Zed hasn't lost anything serious yet, right? Yes, a power plant here, a power plant there. But so far, he's still in the game. Problem is, Artie is now teched up, Ivor. And you're facing Allied Tech on one War Factory of Soviet. That's when you know you're in trouble. Yeah, that's absolutely right. This is not the position that Zed wants to be in at the three minute mark. And uh, that's the thing. When, when the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies, the GIs are in your face, and then all of a sudden they all go home, and you're like, oh, that's good. And then you realize they're going home because the battle lap's out. And now they're gonna go home and mass mirages and melt your face. Um, so now, and already still getting value out of these GIs uh, as we're in a pretty comfortable mid game here, the three and a half minute mark, the GIs are usually completely out of the game, but we've seen these top level guys have found a way to use the GIs because of the snipers. The snipers are able to counter the, the desolators and the GIs remain viable into the mid game if microed properly here. So now Zed gearing up a deso bomb, the obvious counter here. Yeah, a lot of sentry gun defense here, and, and you see how it's like, you know, putting those grizzlies right next to the GIs and right behind, and we're talking about squares and pixels here, perfection, and six eagles coming across the map, what is the target, they go for the oh. oil, okay, no chain reaction, nice placement. He wanted to get, so he wanted to try to take a few of those flak tracks and disrupt those deso bombs, that was a good idea, but that was a heavy counter, he paid a, he paid a heavy toll for that, six eagles going down there. Yeah, six eagles going down, and these Deso bombs getting geared up here, but already inching Zed out here in the center, slowly, slowly. Zed might be in trouble, the sentry gun's doing work, but the GI is doing counter doing work, and look at all those snipers to back these guys up. A Deso bomb might instantly fail here. Very problematic. It's gonna come down to the uh, Deso bomb. Yeah, and he's pushing in here in the bottom. The demo Zed truck! Has, oh, a demo truck! The a demo, demo truck! truck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Loses a war factory first, but he does take out all of these GIs. Couldn't was have it been worth it, Ivor. Was it worth it? I couldn't six have eagles. been worth it. Couldn't have been oh, worth six it. Six eagles. Flag tracks out of position. Lab goes down. Lab goes down, and oh. and already already looking full octopus status right now, coming at him from all sides, and Zed just really struggling to keep up. So allied OP. Allied OP, guys. All month <laughs> long, Allied's been getting wrecked. Now Artie comes out in one series. Although, so Zed and Allied, and, and Artie both won their Allied looks versus Soviet in this series. Very interesting. We have not been seeing that on this map. That is hilarious. That is really, really funny. But yeah, here come uh, again seven eagles across the map. What is the target? There's a very juicy oil there. Ooh, yeah. And slows down that Desolate Bomb, takes a few Desolators. Decent hit. I think Artie, Artie still, I think, I think Artie took a couple weeks off and forgot about the oils. He's been going for chain reactions that haven't, that, that aren't going to work on these newer oils. That was decent, though. Mirage is now, so now a cure off for Zed, just kind of scrambling, trying to get some kind of offensive value here. It's tough at the top level. You can't just sit in your base and hope that your opponent, uh, I don't know, self-destructs. I mean, you got to try to get offensive value. So I think the cure off is a good idea here. Well, I think it's the right idea. I don't think it's a good idea um, necessarily. I don't think Zed has a ton of good ideas. Although you know, never underestimate a batch of rhinos and an iron curtain coming. So yeah, there's a bit of a timer here. Artie wants to, oh, that oil next to the iron curtain. Come on, you got it. That's too juicy. 
Grabs a War oh. Factory, almost gets the MCV. And already yeah, now, now he's pushing down. Oh, the, the Deso Bomb! Oh, huge! The huge! Oh, the Deso Bomb takes a lot of mirages. The but it's so, not enough. Yeah, already oh. and already has plenty of defenses to hold, and and already gets hit by lightning as well. But already gonna roll through here. Zed with nothing left. A decent Deso bomb, but already was just way ahead. Had the momentum in the driver's seat from the beginning. Very very well played. Uh, here's that. So and Zed leaves. Here's that replay. So that replay here of uh, something. What is this replay of? Oh, the demo truck. Zed brings out the demo truck, goes at the GIs, does take the GIs, but at a massive cost. And that means Artie wins. And we do have a cool layer for that. You guys ready for this one? Artie, our winner. Yeah.